good morning everybody welcome back to the channel this is Motorvlog NL my name is Roy it's about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning and it's 31 degrees Celsius and no I'm not in the Netherlands I'm halfway around the world ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to Ho Chi Minh City welcome to Vietnam hey everybody welcome to the channel Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I just picked up uh, this device in the morning. A little bit of sand here. And uh, just testing the bike out uh, for a bit. It's the Benelli TRK502. I rented it here in Ho Chi Minh City at top notch. <laughs> and of course it's starting to rain. It's uh, 36 degrees. It's hot. And of course, just as I got out to try the bike out, it starts raining. This is going to be exciting. Like I said, thousands and thousands of bikes here. As far as yeah, I can see. Just go with the flow. You should be alright. Get green in 10 seconds. But the traffic won't be gone when we start. Down the bridge and then to the left.
everybody's stopping. We are back at the Arrivals Hotel after this first ride on the Benelli TRK 502. Coming into Vietnam I took a flight from Amsterdam to Bangkok and had a connecting flight to Ho Chi Minh City which is also known as Saigon. Total flight time 15 and a half hours. I arrived in Saigon on Sunday and I picked up the bike on Monday. I reserved the bike in advance through internet and I chose this bike because it's a bit bigger than the standard motorbikes in Vietnam. And because you see other YouTubers travel in Vietnam on tiny 125 to 175 scooters and I wanted to do something different. Taking a Dutch guy on an Italian bike through a country in Southeast Asia is something you don't see every day in that part of the world. Today is Tuesday and this will be the first real riding day on the bike. I have planned a trip to the Kuchi tunnels just north of Ho Chi Minh City. This should be a two hour ride and hopefully when I leave the city of Ho Chi Minh it should get a little bit less crowded with traffic. It's 8.15 am and it's already over 30 degrees celsius and the humidity is around 90%. You will see me riding without a motorcycle jacket and I decided to leave the jacket at the hotel because of the heat and also because I anticipate that the average speed of this trip will most likely not exceed 50 km an hour. So choosing between protective gear in case I go down or dressing down to prevent heat stroke, I decided that the likelihood of me passing out of the heat was far more likely than me going down on high speeds. Let's start by finding our way out of Ho Chi Minh City. When riding on a motorcycle in Vietnam and using Google Maps as your navigation, you will find that Google Maps gives you the option to choose between a car or a motorcycle. In the case of riding a motorcycle, you obviously choose that option. The reason is that motorcycles in Vietnam are generally not as powerful as, the, as this Benelli and therefore are not allowed on all roads throughout Vietnam. As you can see the infrastructure of Ho Chi Minh City is divided in regular traffic and motorbike traffic. You can compare it to the bicycle lanes we often see here in the Netherlands. Only here in Vietnam every vehicle is able to use those lanes. 
so even cars and trucks can be found on the slow lanes where motorbikes and bicycles are allowed. Traffic in Vietnam is hectic and chaotic and you will see that on more than one occasion that motorbikes, bicycles or even cars are riding in the opposite direction, making a right turn at the last possible moment when driving in the left side of the road and passing you both left and right.
At this point I've been driving for about 45 minutes and I'm still within the city limits of Ho Chi Minh City. It would take another 20 minutes before I decided that it would be a good idea to stop for a moment, take a break from this insane traffic and get some water into my already overheating body and change the battery of the helmet cam. During my trip I found that 90 minutes was the maximum duration of the battery life of the Insta360 ONE RS and around 1 hour to 90 minutes of driving time was the ideal length of riding in this madness what is called Vietnam traffic. Not long after I took a break, I left the city limits of Ho Chi Minh City and the world opened up on me. You would have thought that traffic would clear up a bit, but although it wasn't as busy as in Ho Chi Minh City itself, it seemed like traffic was getting worse. At least the driving of the Vietnamese got worse. Letting down your guard is definitely not an option when driving in Vietnam, as you will see in the upcoming episodes of this trip. In the next video we will continue our journey from Ho Chi Minh City to the Kuchi Tunnels and of course we have to drive all the way back. For the remaining part of this ride, my visit to the tunnels as well as the trip back to the Arrivals Hotel in Ho Chi Minh City, you will have to check back in for the next episode. If you like this video please like and subscribe, it would help my channel grow so that I can do more of this stuff in the future. Thanks for watching this episode of this series here on MotorvlogNL.